Hello, my name is Peter Abadir, and I'm here with my colleagues from the School of Engineering to tell you about our Johns Hopkins Artificial Intelligence and Technology Collaboratory, Dr. Rama Shilapa and Dr. Najim Dehak. I'm a clinician scientist with interest in the physical and cognitive decline that we observe in our older adults and how to sponsor new technologies to change aging. Dr. Dehak. So my research at Hopkins focuses on the development of artificial intelligence tools to detect, assess, and monitor functional and cognitive decline of older adults. My team is interested in using speech, eye movement, uh, handwriting, and gates to, to detect early diagnosis of Alzheimer and Parkinson's diseases. This shows the strength of innovation at Johns Hopkins University. And with this new collaboration between Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, uh, Whiting School of Engineering, Cary Business School, and a National Institute of Aging, and our collaborators and partners from industry, we're hoping to take this innovation to another higher level. With this collaboration, we're open to develop new technologies that will have a huge impact in the field of well-being and health of older adults and help improve the quality of life. As you know, I've been involved in uh, core AI research and applications of AI research to uh, computer vision and robotics for over four decades. AI is traditionally associated with smart cars and uh, playing games and so on. Although computer vision has had a major impact on medical imaging and you know, image reconstruction and so forth, what's new and exciting now is the fact that AI is able to directly talk to sensors. The sensors that Najim talked about, wearable sensors, you know, sensors that can measure your gait or understand your speech and so on. And in my case, uh, camera collected you know, images uh, and videos that can be used to analyze facial expressions and so forth to determine the severity of the stroke or the, the extent of uh, dementia and so on. So what's exciting to me is that you and I will be working together in not only you know, developing tools uh, that Najim talked about, but also thinking about clinical translation and validation so that what we develop uh, will actually have an impact on the elderly population. The NIA has funded us with $20 million over the span of five years and tasked us with giving money to teams of clinician scientists, engineers, to work together on developing new technologies for older adults. And because some ideas will not be ready for prime time piloting, we also have a clinical translation and validation core that's tasked with fine tuning further development and testing of promising ideas and taking it to the pilot stage. We also have a core dedicated to getting input from key stakeholders so that when we design a technology, it's built with input from patient advocacy groups, organizations, marketing, industry, throughout all the stages of development of the technology. We have two main cores in this center, a core dedicated to developing technologies for physical decline in older adults, including falls, including all the dependency that comes from a decline in physical function, and a core dedicated to the cognitive decline in older adults, and I'll turn it to Dr. Quincy Samos to tell us about the Alzheimer's dementia core. I'm excited to lead Pilot Core A, which is focused on novel artificial intelligence and technology solutions specifically to improve the health and well being of people living with Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. We are interested in a number of technologies, including robotics, machine learning, big data analytics, image and biometrics, speech and natural language processing, as well as other technologies. Proposals can focus on either novel and emergent technologies, or they can focus on the adaptation of existing technologies to address ADRD related care and areas. We have four overall programmatic areas of interest. These include technologies addressing diagnosis and assessment, care and engagement, caregiver and workforce, and finally, population health and system management and administration. We look forward to working with you on advancing healthcare technologies to address this complex and vulnerable group of individuals. Thank you. And here I'll let Ms. Ann Wicker 
the Administrative Manager of the JHU AITC give you more details on the application process and how to get more information. As you can imagine, an initiative this size requires a lot of coordination. My role as the administrative manager is to connect people from the different schools here at the university as well as to provide connections from outside the university to our resources here at Johns Hopkins. If you cannot find the information you need on our website, please feel free to contact me through the email address or the phone number that's available there on the website. We hope this was helpful to you. We look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to receiving your application and working together as a team of scientists, clinicians, engineers to change aging. Thank you.